Hi, I'm uh, Jill Hillary. I'm an accounting faculty at uh, Georgetown University. And I'm, I'm David McLean. I'm a finance professor here at Georgetown University. And so David and I worked on this uh, handbook. Uh, we co-edited uh, uh, the volume. Uh, the idea here is to offer an entry point uh, to the literature, to the current state of knowledge. Um, and that would be of interest, we believe, to uh, graduate students, but also to faculty who have an interest in understanding where the field is at the moment and maybe where the field is going to be in the near future. Yeah. And so the handbook itself is it's 20 chapters. Uh, Jill and I only wrote one of the chapters. That's the introduction. Um, and for those that are interested, it lays out a history over the last half century um, of how uh, academic research and thinking and, and decision making has evolved. Um, then the other 19 chapters, what we did is for different areas of, of financial decision making. So for example, things concerned with, uh, we have a chapter on regulation, we have a chapter on neurofinance, uh, we have a chapter on artificial intelligence, um, we have uh, chapters on different types of accounting systems and how they can affect financial decision making. For each of these different areas, we went out and found a subject expert, a scholar who you know, works full time in that area. And we asked them to kind of summarize the area. Uh, what do they think are the most important uh, things that people have learned from this area? What are the important papers in this area? Uh, and then looking forward, where what might be some opportunities for, for further research in, in these areas? Um, so then, you know, as Jill said, uh, for someone who's interested in financial decision making or even just some aspect of it, like how does, how does regulation affect financial decision making, a person can go to that chapter, an expert, you know, wrote, you know, summarized what, 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 that, what that area is, and it's just a great starting point to, to kind of learn more about that, that aspect of, of decision making. And we hope you will have as much fun reading the, the, the handbook as we had when we read it for the first time.